Uh, good. So, should I do an intro? Just do an outro. Yeah. Thank you very much for listening to this Managed by Stats podcast. All right, cool. Let's do an intro. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Managed by Stats podcast, AMZ Seller Real Talk. Today, we have with us Ritz Momentum, and we actually have a very special episode for you this time around. Uh, we are doing a very unique and a first of its kind partnership with them where we are doing every step of launching a new product from beginning to end. We might even sell the brand afterwards. And if we do, it'll be called scale to sale, sale to scale to sale. Yep. If we don't, it'll be scale to success or something like that. Um, I am your host, Danan, who is too quiet. There we go. And with me, I have Mark Jepson, the COO of Managed by Stats. I have Isabella, who is the CEO of Race Momentum. Uh huh. And with her, her daughter, whose name is Elizabeth. Fran. Oh, yes, that. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about what we are doing and what we have in store for you. Um, I don't know exactly where this podcast is going to lie. So we have already started. And uh, where, where are we at in the process so far? We found the product. Okay. You two approved the product. I agree, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we actually had two products going on and uh, we've been uh, choosing one or another. And we chose the product that we will be able to do and launch with the variations in the future. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. So we're using uh, the very... I'm going to pretend I don't know what she's talking about. Right. Yeah. So we are using one uh, pre-created, very nice logo for that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, based on this logo, we're also creating design. Right now, we have two designs ready. We are testing... Uh, two box designs mm -hmm. we're testing two product designs we didn't run the peak for yet because on our internal part we still have some revisions the moment revisions for this product will be ready we're going to run peak full so we will be able to find out which version is better which box is better which part of the product is better so we mm -hmm. will like do probably six or seven different uh, polls mm -hmm. to figure out which one audience actually like. And we'll also choose the audience. We will uh, create the audience for it. will not be just random 50 people. We'll do like targeted Tar audience. Targeted audience. Okay. Yeah. And for those of you that are listening, I don't know what it is. PICFU is P-I-C-K-F-U, not to be confused with another <laughs> kind of F-U. And what it is is uh, a software it's a SaaS that allows you, software as a service that allows you to survey uh, all kinds of different stuff. But in our case, in the case of Amazon sellers, pictures and uh, logos and I don't even know what else. But if you want to survey it, you can use PickFu. So that's PickFu.com, P-I-C-K-F-U.com. Ritz, slash Ritz Momentum. Slash Ritz, Ritz Momentum. momentum. <laughs> and you'll Ooh. get 50% off. That's we just R -I -T -Z. promoted them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we 50% just off? Yeah, 50 off. Oh they are giving to every single person for subscribing via us. Ooh, so we nice. just promoted them. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Anthony, you're welcome. Yep. All right, cool. So uh, good. I think we should also cover back to what it is that, uh, like oh, yeah. how we came up with this and like what it is that we want to do with the whole process. Yeah, yeah. So um, who wants to tell the story of how this got started? I it think was, you're a good storyteller. Am I? Yeah. Once upon a time, I was walking down the beach and then I got a phone call that had nothing to do with this. And then I went back to work in my mind. Okay. So, um, so we had someone in the company that was working with, uh, with Ritz and he was going to launch a product and then, and then, <laughs> How do I best describe this scenario? So you're going to cut it out? No, no, no. From the this, podcast? No. So we're like, we are recording. So yeah, we're yeah no, it's, it's in. It's in. Okay, so you're not going to cut it. No, um, I'm not going to so cut it. So we're sharing everything. We're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Now everybody intrigued. Yeah, yeah. did I forget to tell you guys that, the, that we don't cut anything out? Like whatever is, is said gets said? It's BS free. That's perfect. I yeah, love it. I never free, cut yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, cool. So basically that person was no longer going to launch a product. It came across my lines that this, that a webinar had been done to the effect of managed by stats, doing a product with Ritz momentum. Nobody knew about this. 
And uh, Bella reached out to me and said, hey, we're gonna, what are we going to do about this? I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't know anything about this. And so I, uh, I hustled and, uh, and went to a few people in, in the company and went, hey, what if we did this? What if we did that? And then I came back to Bella and said, hey, you know, I've had this great idea. Why don't we go ahead and do these things? And what do you think? And she's like, yeah, I like it. This was basically what was already the idea, except I, I don't know. Well, tequila helped us yes, to accept that right. idea. Like, let's be honest. Yeah. Okay? yeah. We yeah, had so, a meeting. We had some tequila. Yeah. That was important. Yeah. So we were in, uh, we were at Prosper Show. And, uh, and yeah, I, I figured out the best ways to get agreements from people. Let's just put it that way. Yep. And it, and it starts with the T and it ends. Oh, never mind. That's not enough. <laughs> okay. So. So. Where are we at? So where we're at this stage where we're about to release the design mm -hmm. of the product and show it to you guys because you don't know how it looks like right now. Right. No, we have no idea. You don't have right. spoiler idea. alert. No. It's not too shabby. Nice. That's good. I'm excited. Feel and I can I can give you just one clue. This product has a hat on it. Mm. I have a hat on. Wait, am I the product? <laughs> yes. You can't sell life. Oh, That's you going human to draft. That is, yeah. Yeah, we're going yeah. pretty far with this. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. So. yeah. but uh, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. We're gonna be basically creating a product. Um, it's gonna be an awesome product. We're gonna launch it. Um, we're going to scale it. Uh, we're gonna be doing uh, everything A to Z from advertising <clears throat> to um, A plus content, all of the stuff. We're gonna basically walk through all of that with you guys on the podcast series and show every step of the way. We'll and, actually do. Uh, we'll we'll probably most likely do live webinars yeah. Yeah. For, for this. I think that's going to be the easiest yeah. way for both our viewers and um, and our minds. Yes. Um, but yeah, go ahead. Yep. And then uh, and then build it up and uh, show you guys every step of the way. Show you what tools we're using, uh, how we're using those tools, um, our inspiration, where it's all coming from, how we're doing it, so you guys can actually see. Okay, taking a product from concept to launch ranking it, actually getting it selling high volume, and then uh, and then we might even sell it yeah. and walk you through that as well. Yeah, from like in between 10 to 12 months yeah. from the moment we start. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, make sure you get a little closer to the mic. Thank okay. you. That's much sure. better. Yeah, I will. Um, so the idea here is we are proofing how do you launch a product in 2022 on Amazon? And Rich Momentum is doing the majority of the legwork. Managed by Stats is putting up the money and uh, we're using our software and our network of softwares to scale this product. Now, we have no idea if this is gonna be a wild success or an epic failure. Uh, somebody once told me that one, one in three products are great successes, even even today from who are big sellers. Yep. And and I think that is correct. Is that your experience? Yes, it is. I would say if we're taking like three products, two of them high likely will succeed. Mm -hmm. If you're doing the proper product research and nothing yeah. will change in the market by the time you launch it. Because like if you're doing the product research today, you cannot launch this product in a year without like double search again right. mm -hmm. so if we're searching for the product and designing this product today it's supposed to be launched by or like before the q4 of this year so generally right. speaking this is the purpose yeah however the statistics are 50 50. <laughs> you're like you yeah. will or succeed or not yeah 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 okay yeah and there's and there's a multitude of tools and and networking that we have available yeah. to us that um everyone else has available to them they just need to know who those people are precisely and what those things are yep um and taking all of those we can basically um, shave off the margin of 50 50 basically yeah. mm -hmm. is what we're gonna show and what are you doing there what am I doing? Yeah. Oh, I just crack out jokes and keep everyone um, happy. That's good. And that's important in the business because if you have unhappy business, yep. you know what they say, unhappy, they don't say anything. You want to be happy. <laughs> that's though. Uh, okay, cool. So why don't we talk a little bit about your service? Okay. So 
let's just attach it to the product that we're searching for. Yeah, sure. So the idea was to find the product with the <coughs> high demand and low competition. Mm -hmm. The best way to go about it is to look at the audience, what they're actually searching for, and find out what the price range a lot of sellers don't want to go to. Yeah, I love, I, I don't think I have anything under $50. Yeah, because like when you will look at the, let's say market of the potential sellers, everybody want to launch something under $20 or $30 because- Really? Yes. Oh. And if you will go like to YouTube videos, you will find out like, yeah, people are actually advising. I found a couple of days ago, um, the video popped up on my YouTube uh, feed. Oh, look, this is the spatula. You can buy this spatula for no zero way. point. Yeah, and it's <laughs> I think like- that was the, the first product that ASM did. Yeah. The, the thing. yeah. And it's like the video of 2022. Wow. And like, you can buy this spatula actually for zero point, I don't remember, seven cents, like 70 cents. It's, it was under the dollar. Yeah. And look, look, this spatula, you can sell on Amazon. And he's showing like 15,000 of reviews on this spatula and you can sell it for 9.99. Look the amount of the like, 1000% you can yeah. uh, earn, but no. So, and a lot of people, they're trying, they're not trying to learn how to do stuff. They're trying to do by themselves. That's why they're going to all these shitty products. Right. And they're launching uh, with the same, 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 same uh, products without any custom. So our idea was to find the, not the cheap product, uh, like pretty expensive one. Mm -hmm. Well, not call it super expensive, like about, we will sell it like 60, 69, 79 bucks. Mm -hmm. And our market margin, if our sourcing person will work well, I hope will be about 35, 40%. Cool. So we also have uh, the opportunity to substitute a couple of items inside to make sure we can reduce the net cost and we can increase the market price. Yeah. So we will play on it as well. So the product that we're going to release to the audience and show, okay, this is what we came up with. It doesn't mean we're going to launch this specific product because when we're launching our customers and we'll, we're going to launch ourselves as well, we will also work on the product inside of the sourcing process. So if one of the items will not be profitable for us or it will be too heavy or it will be, I don't know, we will not be able to use this type of material because it's like not unbreakable or not safe or something else, we will substitute it. So the final product, lay, product will uh, be ready like after two, three weeks of the product product sourcing in uh, the country that we will choose from. So right now we will, we're looking forward to Latin America. We'll see how our friends will nice. work there and yes. how it will work out. Yeah. Probably we'll actually source from there. Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually going to Mexico in June and um, I think we're going to do like a little continuation of this in Mexico looking for the product that, that we're looking to source, right? Yep. Yeah. So I guess I better bear my camera I think with me. by June we will already order yeah. this product yeah. we're, because if we want this product to be uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. spiking with sales during Q4, we have to launch it at yeah. the end of the July. Yeah. Yeah. Let, August, let, yeah. let me rephrase that. I'll be looking to, I'll still be looking to source the product there because let's say. Yeah, not know, this specific one. Could yeah. be variations. Yeah, yeah. Could, yeah. 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 yeah, so I'll be there and maybe we can yep. find a better price. Yep. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. All right. Cool. So let's see. What else should we talk about here? I mean, kind of that kind of covers what we what we want to discuss in terms of. I mean, what, what we're are doing. you gonna do with the project? I'm not we gonna do anything. That. I'm I'm the no, only point. This is actually because... the funny story. When we talked to him and he said, "Okay, when people are offering me the pro like the project, and they're saying, okay, you're gonna do this,' and he said, "No." I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> you guys are going to do stuff. So we all are working. He's actually running the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and Dan, managed by Dan stats. is lazy, but he gets a lot done. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Yeah. So I you're actually like a strategic never. Strategic procrastinator. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I'm a strategic reallocator. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Like, thank you. I will get that done. Get that done for me. Thank you. I will get that done. Have this done. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but but on MBS's part, that's exactly right. So once we have the product launched, we're going to be doing different launch techniques. Mm -hmm. um, 
We'll be using Managed by Stats to track all of this. So we have a, a launch tracker that we'll, we'll be using, mm -hmm. um, looking at the uh, key performance indicators, keywords. looking at our, our keyword rankings, or making sure our cost of goods is, is not too high um, compared to our advertising, all of this kind of stuff, analyzing it as we're launching it, as we're ranking it. Uh, we'll be using that and tracking all that inside of MBS. Um, videoing all that uh, yeah. live so we can actually see how that's going, analyzing it, seeing where we need to make adjustments, um, making changes to our listing, our A-plus content, uh, our advertising, et cetera, based off of what we're seeing. Um, so that'll be a lot of the, the launching and ranking actions that we'll be doing. But then we're also going to be tying in some other um, software or uh, uh, strategic partners that know how to do certain things that we'll be tying into do these different things and see how those go. Yeah. Are you going to be aggressive? Yeah, I think we should. I think we should. I mean, I think it, we should. So I, on PPC, I think we should be aggressive and uh, smartly aggressive. It's not a, that's not a good combination of words, but aggressively smart. Intelligently aggressive. Intelligently oh, aggressive. Nice. There we go. See, that's why. That's ah. why. Creative team is right that's here. Right here. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Thank so, goodness for you. Yeah. I just correcting all. Writing, so <laughs> so that exactly. So we're going to be intelligently aggressive, so that we're not <laughs> wasting ad spend, but we're doing it. In a, we're, we're making that money uh, give us the best bang for our buck. Cool. So. Uh, may I ask the questions or I can only yeah, answer? Yeah. Yeah, no, okay. Can't this do is my podcast. Okay, I'm so sorry that no. I shut up. <laughs> Go, please. <laughs> I, I want, it's totally an open conversation. Okay. We're, we're just recording what we're saying. Yeah, and right. then I, and I throw in a lot of ridiculousness okay, because yes. I, I don't actually pay attention. Okay, yes, sir. What? <laughs> <laughs> please please okay, ask the, away. Okay, um, question. Uh, how people are interested about the numbers? Yeah. How mm -hmm. much are we going to invest? How much are we going to spend? Mm, yeah. Let's let's yeah 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 yeah. Let's, let's start from that. the end. Like, mm -hmm. how much are you going to spend per this product per day? The the, the day one for ads for ads. Yeah, it's a good question. So, um, I would probably think with thirty dollar bucks. No, I mean, we're gonna want to have probably five. I'll probably start off with five campaigns. Um, People were thinking five bucks and they've been otherwise no, no. like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> no. So I would think to be an aggressive, to we're going to be coming right into Q4. I want to be, we're going to have to rank. And in order to rank, um, we're going to have to spend money. So we're mm -hmm. going to have to be a, a bit aggressive to, to push it up. What a pleasure to be understood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I think we're going to have to probably do at uh, I think a minimum that I'd want to start off with would be at least $25 per day per campaign. So that's going to be like 125 125. bucks is what I would think with. Um, and probably a majority of that would go towards our ranking campaigns. So um, we'll have to do that smartly. We'll have to get our auto campaign started and evaluate our keyword intelligently. ranking intelligently. <laughs> Uh, and, and evaluate our ranking, uh, what kind of organic SEO we get, and then dedicate some uh, majority of the ad spend to ranking on certain keywords that makes sense. But we'll show all that in in our uh, in our not podcast, our live webinars, webinars, webinars. our lives. Yep, yeah. our lives. And, we'll show um, our lives. Yeah, the days of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Only some of us will get that joke. Yeah, dating um, ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking would be the smartest um, way to go about it. Uh, how much are we spending on the initial investment of the product? I mean, this is this is uh, to be determined yeah. still, but um, I think we're going to look at anywhere between five and fifteen thousand um, per product. Yeah. Well, I think it will be more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think Good. we're going. Close. I mean, how many units are we going? Well, we recommend five hundred units in the beginning. So it, again, yeah. it depends yeah. on the so glad. On the, on the price. So you know, glad we're finding price. this out on our podcast. on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. we five to fifteen thousand dollars. Well, it's we know like exactly what we're doing. I, like, yeah. I think we're looking at like eighteen dollars uh, net cost and uh, per unit. Per unit, yeah. So multiply by five hundred. That's well, another roughly, number. Roughly ten thousand fifty plus forty. Yeah. that's yeah. Roughly ten thousand dollars per yeah, product. Yeah, and then you have yeah. import. So wherever we're doing that from, um, so yeah, I mean fifteen, eighteen, nineteen thousand yeah. probably yeah. is the initial um, 
but the potential. Oh yeah. my land, yeah. these products uh, with um, like 30, 40 reviews might be selling for like 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars. Nice. It's so sweet, especially during Q4. I was watching this product during Q4, actually. Uh, and it's been like 180, 120. So, so, so just for the record, if you're going to be hiring an agency to, to do this for you, this is a level of excitement that you mm -hmm. want, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like if, for those of you that are just listening to the podcast, she's like, She's got her fingers drumming together. She's got this gleam in her eye and she's like, there's so much money on the table. <laughs> yeah, you know, like when people are saying, is it the right time to go on Amazon? I think every, all products are already taken. And I'm like, no, you're no. wrong. We just cannot search, yep. right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it looks yeah. packed, but it's actually super empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yes. there's, there's, a, there's a technology or a, a thought process or a, a, a procedure, a way that, that that you find actually great products. And if you don't mm -hmm. have the knowledge of how to do that, yeah, you could think, okay, Amazon's kind of hard and kind of dead and kind of useless or whatever, but ugh, there's still so much opportunity. And yep. you hear it from all the people that actually have been doing this for years and they know mm -hmm. what they're doing. They know the the different little pinpoints of what to yep. look for. Mm -hmm. it, it's 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 still very much an awesome game. Yeah, we have a list of the product we wanna launch. Yeah, yeah some people come up mm -hmm. to us and then they're like, what happens when you run out of ideas? <laughs> and yeah. like, you get more ideas. Yeah, yeah. We, we won't. I uh, yeah, exactly. I asked Bella about uh, my Damascus knives. What was it that you said to me? So why I don't like this product because uh, this product been launched already years ago. Yeah, I so, launched it actually. I was the first one on Amazon. Really? Yep, with Amazon. The handmade. first person ever was it? Was it twenty twelve? Twenty thirteen. Mm. 20 whenever amazon okay maybe i wasn't the first one but i i'll still claim it whenever amazon <laughs> handmade was i got invited was okay. a was a invite program that's when i started it okay probably i don't 2016 uh, yeah, I, yeah yeah that sounds about right all right yeah. i'm a liar okay yeah, anyway so why i don't like this product because to go good about this product you have to create it from scratch like it's supposed to be the good new model you actually can have another approach so if you will sell this knife uh not just like damascus knife damascus steel stainless steel knife whatever how it's called yeah. with this keyword <laughs> yeah you can sell it like as a gift mm -hmm. right and then you you can complement this product with like extra keywords and you're changing the approach and yeah. then you can sell it in a different way however uh why i don't like this kitchen knives kitchen set and uh i forgot that i don't have to know yeah. I, have a copyright, I have a copywriting idea right here kill your friends with kindness <laughs> it's, it's a stop uh, word on yeah. amazon yep. <laughs> it will be uh, the stop word on amazon damn yeah, yeah so, Amazon doesn't want kindness on there. I understand. Yeah, but you don't you, you don't have yeah you don't have a lot of keywords to actually rank it unless you're the first one who launched this product. Yeah. So I I fully admit I I I just did it because I got invited to the program. I was like I, I need a handmade product, so yeah. I went out and found one and and I was selling them for like one hundred and fifty dollars or something like that. Right. That's awesome. Yeah, it, it was until the market got flooded with sixty dollar yeah. knives because yeah. they're not that expensive, you know, to have made. And uh, and I just kept my prices at one hundred and fifty bucks. I still make sales, you know, but uh, with PPC or without PPC. No, I don't do any PPC on anything. Wonderful. I I know I know how a lot ironic. of people. Well, <clears throat> I wouldn't call it ironic. It perhaps a little bit stupid. Uh, is probably the better word, but that's why managed by stats encourage everybody to actually use PPC <laughs> yeah. with managed by yeah. stats, not to have PPC. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I am a bad example in in that case, but like like Mark said earlier, like I, I, I'm lazy. Like when I started on Amazon, there was no PPC, and then when PPC came out, I was like, what do I need PPC for? I'm already making great sales, and then PPC became necessary. I'm like, no, 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 I can hold I out. Can it's going to be stuff. fine, and I'm still holding out. But I think yeah. now I feel you're so good. I started PPC only in 2017, mm. so two years I was going without PPC, and I genuinely I was thinking it's a bullshit. Yeah. Can we use these words in the podcast? It's right? too late now. It's recorded. Yeah, so yeah, anyway. uh, what so am I going to say? <laughs> yeah, I we're so. going to say this was BS free. Yeah. 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 Not anymore. That was a really good dad joke. Total. Did we promise it's BS free? 
Uh, but we're not saying any BS, right? Well, so you just, just said it. No, it's it's just the word. <laughs> it's not the content that we're talking about. The bovine is, scat free. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I didn't believe on the PPC at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think it really truly became necessary until like actually necessary until like maybe three years ago, yeah. you think? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it's it obviously was it's funny because I remember five, six years ago, um, go to these go to these conferences and people are like, yeah, I, I launched and ranked and, and almost sold my my whole company and I didn't do any PPC. And you're thinking how did they do that? You know, like what, what magic did they do? Yeah. And it's just at the time you didn't really need PPC. It wasn't, right. it wasn't a pay to play arena on Amazon. Yeah. It definitely um, is now. And now, and, yeah. And over the last three years, it's definitely warped into you, you have to do advertising. Otherwise your ranking will yeah. drop. And I've, I've not launched a product in, maybe I shouldn't admit this. You should yeah, stop, don't talking. Say it. Five. stop talking. Right now. Weeks. It's been some time since. Yeah, you're I've, about to launch a product, Danon. It's true. I yeah. am. Actually, I am considering actually genuinely going back into like the adventure market and doing a genuine launch and advertising and all that kind of stuff because I already do all the stuff. Yeah. Right. You live, live the brand. I live the brand. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, but we—that's not what this. If what? you want to embrace your laziness, you yeah. do kind of have people. I know. I no joke. I, this this is a case study for me. I don't care about all you listeners and viewers. This is for me. Okay. I I orchestrated this and got managed by Stats and Ritz to to do this together so that I could see if it would work for me. And then I'm going to bring my brand idea to you. You'll shoot it through through and through with holes. Like on a webinar. On live on a webinar. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to be like, I'm going to do Apple Electronics, and you're going to be like, you're going to leave right now because i'm not talking to you anymore but i i actually think i may go ahead and do that and bring it and do an adventure brand because i mean it's this is my life besides besides my child so my life is my family managed by stats Laziness. and my adventure and adventuring is can be lazy i do sleep in my car just so you know and it's very comfortable most expensive tent i've ever owned but uh we're off topic yeah off topic and camping and traveling camping traveling four yeah. by four yep. yeah. motorcycle and yeah. any adventure and, i'm in and pop, 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 pop. yeah <laughs> but i think also that one's along, expensive along the way yes. we can also go over like tips and tricks hacks white hat hacks yeah um white hacks white hacks and um you know different things to optimize better different things to rank better um you know, there's always something new to, to talk about on that arena. So we can definitely incorporate all those things as we go along. Mm -hmm. I won't I won't be giving any of that advice because no. I'll I'm not going to be doing any of the work. So yeah. but I'll agree with you guys and yeah. I'll, I'll ask questions. And actually, you know, it might be kind of cool if if when we are going to do a live, we bring up the statistics. I've never seen mm -hmm. any of them. And I just go, hey, what's happening here? What's happening there? What do you guys think about that? Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You can throw the stone. It's like you're one of the listeners. You don't know what the hell's happening. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and you know, like I said, I haven't, I haven't launched a product in quite some time. So in, in full disclosure, my, my, my practice is out. I have a lot of knowledge because of where I am and who, who I'm with and stuff like that. But I haven't actually put it into practice myself. So if we were to bring us bring the live up bring up the statistics and the, all the metrics and i go why did that happen love it you know love it all right okay let's, let's do, do it that. let's of do course. it especially because we we have already report ready I'm, so it's almost live we didn't publish it yet we didn't send you it yet but good. i have it in my internal team we have a report done we have research done we have customization done we have design almost done so, I'll ask my first question. And that was really fast. Like, that was didn't we talk like two, like, I mean, we've been talking well, almost every other on. day, but like. The idea started in yeah. earnest at Prosper. Which was how many days ago? Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks? Two no, weeks no, ago. No, 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 weeks. I'm on. No, hold on. Today, April. No, three fifth. weeks. Three, three weeks. weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Three weeks ago. I mean, that's <laughs> saying something. I mean, most people will that's buy ASM month. or buy some, some course and will take three months to just pick a product. Yeah. To ju just decide that they want to do that product. I can tell yeah. you more. 
uh, a week ago, I had a podcast with uh, wizards. You went to somebody else's podcast? I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's not sorry. <laughs> I'm not. So uh, I was uh, on a podcast with the wizards. They they actually supposed to release it this week. Yeah. And we talked. That's, that's uh, Wizards of Amazon. Amazon wizards yeah. of e-commerce. Yeah. Carlos Alvarez. Yeah. And and we, we talked to Naomi. And Noemi. Naomi, yeah. yeah. She's Naomi, yeah, she's not Naomi. I, yeah. I, I still want to call her Naomi. I know. Naomi, I'm so sorry. Again. Uh, um, I so, get brownie points for for, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, for right. getting the name right. <laughs> so, yeah, and we actually found a product for her. Really? Yeah, and we're already in the process of the design this product. Oh, that's fantastic. So within a week, I promise her a month, because right now we're a little, a little bit overloaded. However, uh, we're almost done with the design. Yeah. So we're about, by the end of the week, we're going to send a design for her. Wow. So she's going to launch this product. She loved the idea, actually. And uh, she said, it's brilliant. That's awesome. <laughs> like, she's always saying, brilliant, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. she's a sweetie pie. Her and yeah. her husband are just wonderful people. They're so sweet. And they're here in Miami, right? Yeah. So when Miami. we'll move here, we'll have a huge party. Uh, now, I want to, I mean, this is, actually, this is actually pretty cool. Can you go through what is it that your team has done in the, just the two, three weeks, two and a half to three weeks for already. Let's call, it, let's call it two weeks because we all had a week of recuperation after Prosper yeah. to, before we actually right. had any further conversations. That's right. Well, maybe you guys <laughs> still, had. Maybe uh, Dana did. Yeah, I, I didn't. Um, first of all, I'm pretty greedy with time. So mm -hmm. if I'm not doing anything, I feel like I'm losing w my life. Wasting your life. Yeah, yeah, something's going wrong. However, yeah. those two days that I'm here, I actually want to chill on the beach. Yeah. And I hope it will happen. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> anyway, so uh, the moment we came back, I was sleeping half of the day because we had a night flight. And we, I was just checking what is going on. So we got, I believe, a dozen customers uh, on board. At, Pro uh, at yeah. Prosper? No, not at Prosper. I, like in between we've been at Prosper and by the time we came back. So right now we actually stopped taking people on board right now because mm -hmm. we have to like work all the products mm -hmm. uh, we have right now. Anyway, so we found about 15, 16 products, but like during this time uh, we already did the customization for half of them mm. and all of them are in the process of design. Wow. Yeah, and I'm not, uh, talking right now about the extra EBC content, extra listing copywriting, extra selling copywriting, extra something else. I also hired 10 more people to my team on Friday. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So you Just, move fast. We didn't yeah. do any, anything. Yet this time. Uh, you know, I think business is about speed. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So if you're moving slow, you're like, what are you doing? And like, you can... Q4 was already four months ago, five. And in seven months, no, not seven, hold on, four months, we have another Q4. Yeah. Five months from now. Don't yeah. ask me maths. Yeah, from five months from now, we have already another Q4. And then again, January. And then again, you have to prepare for another Q4. Yeah. And like when you're Amazonian, you're thinking like with the Q4, so okay, when is the next Q4? Yep. Prime day in Q4. <laughs> you're just going from. Yeah. Now that makes sense. That actually reminds me of uh, Martin Sherman. Uh, who is someone he's, I guess you could call him a sourcing agent. Hmm? Yeah, sourcing yeah. specialist. He's been doing it for nearly three decades out of China. And he he spent uh, December is when his year started for October and December the next year. So like that's how far ahead he was doing design and all that kind of stuff and and what you make sense what what you said makes so much sense because if you want to scale to where we're planning on bringing this that's how you have to think yep. that yeah. we're not we're not talking about payouts here two week payouts we're not talking about how much how much do you sell in a month we're talking about how much are we scaling what percentage are we scaling over 12 months 12 18 months yep. and in in this case 12 to 18 months to scale and sale, sale the business. Scale and sale. Scale, scale and sale. sale. And um, so, yeah, that's, that's, I think, I totally agree with that. Thinking big is definitely not what I've been doing. <laughs> to throw myself under the bus here. Some of you are going to get that reference. <laughs> uh, Sweet, you're so cute. Thanks. I told you already today. You did? 
Yeah, I said I text you like you're so cute when I saw you on a podcast. Oh, I didn't see that part. Oh, I should have sent you hearts. I'm sorry. Yes, you okay. didn't. This is a perfect place to end the podcast for the day. I am yes. super cute. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we all agreed. Um, I agree that the plan is we're launching the webinar live. Yeah. He's throwing stones virtually. Yeah. yeah. Then I'm trying to defend myself. If I will not be capable, then we have to redo all job that we've been done during these two weeks. And right? it's going to be live. We're not... Like, yeah. I, I'm going to genuinely ask the questions like, why did this happen? What what happened? You know, yeah. and and I think what we'll also get from this is some real expectations on what to expect on supply chain and importing and exporting and all that kind of stuff. Um, because what, what are you going to do if customs like I've had I've had fifty thousand dollar shipment up held up by customs. Uh, not in America, in the UK, and it was held long enough that our shipping label, something happened with our shipping label, and expired. then it expired with Amazon, and they sent all that product back to Slovakia, and that was that, you know? So that sort of stuff is, is if you don't know what you're doing, and at that time, I didn't know what I was doing, uh, that stuff is real, like, yeah. and and we're we're not, we're going to keep all this. We're going to present this information. This is what we ran into. Now we have experts here, and and we can save you a lot of time and heartache uh, by listening to us because we're smarts. But you know, well, some of us we're intelligent. Ah, ah, nice. Full circle there. Yeah, I think, this, I think this is really good for people who are like really skeptical or they're like too scared to sell because. Let's say this is like this is an epic fail. Mm -hmm. like, and it could be. We, and then they get to see yeah. that even hotshot sellers, yeah. mm -hmm. it doesn't always work out. Yeah. And they get to learn from our experience. That's right. yeah. yeah. One thing I can say for everyone in this market is that persistence is the most vital ingredient that you're going to have. Persistence. So something mm -hmm. that you don't have. I do have persistence. At persisting like a that sloth. <laughs> it's persistent <laughs> is just slow and lazy. No, Sorry, I don't. Dana, what? What we're we gonna do if we fail? If we fail, yeah. we're gonna do it again. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I just, I just talked. Did nobody hear me about persistence? <laughs> People will not understand you. <laughs> yeah. No, it's true. It, like, I, I have had, I probably had more failed products than successful products in my eleven years, almost twelve years on Amazon. In fact. I have had more failed products or mediocre products. If, 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 if I have a mediocre product, I'd get rid of it. Yeah. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not working for free. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not working at all. I just expect money, <laughs> but, um, I have a bank account. I remember this phrase. I just have a bank account. Yeah. I, I want deposits. That's it. But, um, you know, so I, I've been in the, I've been food and supplements and, uh, a couple of other darker areas of Amazon <laughs> and stuff like that. But um, what was the point of what I was saying? I'm Persisting, sure. Persisting, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if this is if this fails, um, then we go. Again? Okay, good. We know that that product didn't actually work out. Mm -hmm. Something that we did in our research or in our ranking or yep. launching, uh, did wasn't actually correct, and uh, we right. learn from our mistakes and then yep. do it better. And you know, it's 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 the yep. age old thing. You know, I think that's how we all learned at the beginning. We we got advice or training on how to do something. We did it. Something was not right about what we applied to yeah. that process. Some people have had a silver you know? bullet. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Or, or the golden pill, golden duck, goose, whatever. Yeah, yeah. That thing. The thing, yeah. Yep. And uh, But then you just persist. You go, okay, good. That didn't work out. You can recognize your mistake and go, okay, well, all right. Let's push that aside. Mm -hmm. Learn from what you did. Create a better one and get, go get going again. Now, let me, let me ask the the danger question here i don't have <clears throat> all right i will let me just <coughs> prepare myself for this so i don't have twenty thousand dollars okay right i do i understand that <laughs> but i I'm, I'm saying this from a customer standpoint oh, God, I understand. yeah yeah, yeah. Good. so mm -hmm. i don't have twenty thousand dollars to put into a product i have seven thousand because i sold my dog the dog was worth four hundred dollars <laughs> And 
I borrowed I'm some sorry, money from my mom. Sorry, did you kill it and you you sold the pop part to people who are eating the What's dogs? The, have, haven't you ever seen the book "A Hundred Ways to Walk Your Dog"? No. No. It, yeah. W O K. A hundred ways to walk your dog. Do you know what a walk is? Nobody knows. No walk. No. The big old bowl that you cook food in. Oh my god. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Uh, that went down a very dark path. Really yeah. Fast. Hey, yeah. listen. I just said I sold the dog. Anyhow, so I have seven thousand dollars. Is it still um, applicable? Yeah. Can you still do this? Yes, on your own with mm -hmm. a very good research so yes. without like with managing expectations that you're not going to sell the product for 69 dollars on the market right uh managing expectations that you have to learn and think before you actually launch something make sure that you are not watching one video on youtube free one yeah uh making sure that you are checking videos from 2017 2018 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. Yeah, you need Watch new, new videos. Yes. So, and you have to put layers what people have been talking in 2017 and what mm. people are talking right now because Amazon is not like it is, is right now, Amazon is not like it was in 2017. However, mm -hmm. how Amazon was in 2017 and right now, it's a progression. Yeah. So, yeah. you have to understand the layers how Amazon been working all these years. You, should, you don't have to learn what was in the 2015 uh, and 16. <coughs> However, 2017 until now, it's something that you actually have to learn about Amazon algorithms. Mm -hmm. And as long as you understand how all those algorithms are working, uh, you can, of course, launch your product, uh, do the wine program, uh, register your brand, and do like a lot of <laughs> stuff as well, and uh, try to launch your product. It is possible. I'm not saying it's impossible. It is possible. Mm -hmm. There are successful story there. I have successful uh, story of my um, former customers. I have a story of one of my uh, former students. I stopped teaching people uh, how to sell on Amazon a year ago. However, I still have the stories. People are coming to me and saying, Bella, I crossed my 100K a month finally. I crossed mm -hmm. uh, 1,000 reviews on one of my products finally. People and those people didn't start with like uh, 100,000 uh, of investments. They've been starting with like 7, 10, 20, 25. Yeah. So it's about consistency, time, put your efforts a lot in learning experience and make sure when you're like starting your business, doesn't matter Amazon or something else, it's always high risk, high potential and you have to be ready to lose everything mm -hmm. yeah so it's not like don't put it on a credit card no absolutely yeah. not or if you put it on a credit card, you have to like manage expectations how mm -hmm. you're going to cover it right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so it's not about points what yeah. you're going to use for your flights how much yeah. did you start with i mean i know i was kind of there for it but i really wasn't so you're not listening to everything i'm talking every single day on the podcast you're right. I, I, I i i launched with the leftovers of five thousand dollars i didn't have more but again, it was 2015. Right. So it's not the example right, right. now. And mm -hmm. I was super lucky with my silicone wine glasses. Mm -hmm. And I got the return of $14,000 back because I launched during Q4. I was lucky again. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was like multiple times <clears throat> lucky. I think it's just universe paid me back because I was suffering a lot at this time of my life. Anyway, huh. so. Um, Interesting example. Yeah. Long story. So I, I, don't, I just don't want to. Uh, bragging saying like you know I launched my Amazon with five thousand dollars and I got back fourteen thousand back everybody should do that absolutely not like let's be realistic here well well I mean I started with nothing on Amazon I do you know this story have I told you no <laughs> don't okay. tell me it was drop shipping or like something no no I brokered a deal with the manufacturer to get the product on consignment okay. and pay them after it sold oh so yeah, I see you're a very good communicator. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but I mean, I I I I asked the question on I have seven thousand dollars. Can it be done? Because I wanted to also scale this down to the person who's mildly interested and wants to dip their toes in. Because we can go, like you and I, we start a long time. You yeah. 2015, 2014 mm -hmm. for Mark, and 2010 for me, right? And when when I started, when we all started, it was a very different Amazon than it is yeah. today, right? Mine was totally different than yours. Yours is totally different than whoever's listening now. 
but there's also retail arbitrage, right? If you just want to know what it's like to get into the Amazon ecosphere because you know you're going to do it yourself because you're not going to spend the investment with Ritz, which I highly recommend personally because I there's a reason I haven't launched products in a long time. You've been waiting for free stuff. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's because I don't like actually doing the work to do it. Okay. Yeah. We weren't, we're not going to get in. That's not the point. That's not the, what do you say? Sloth. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, is that there are varying degrees of success and there are varying degrees of starting on Amazon. Yeah. And if all you want to do, uh, am I making you tired? Is my voice soothing you to sleep right now? Definitely not soothing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Got beat up by a kid today. So, um, you know, there, there are different ways you can get into this. And, um, and this, this is the fast track. We're talking about the fast track in this case, but I just want to make sure that for those that are listening, there are other ways. You don't have to do it this only only this one way, but I for damn sure am not going to do it the slow way anymore personally. If I genuinely do go into a brand again, it's going to be with Ritz and with- You just advertised me? Mm-hmm. No. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, wow. because they're going to pay for it because she said she had money. <laughs> I do. She had twenty thousand dollars, so she's gonna launch my brand and then hand it over to me, and then I'm just gonna and open a bank account. And then he will account. earn, and I will keep just investing whenever he will earn it, and he will recommend me to everybody. That's and once in a while we'll perfect. hop on the podcast. That's right, and I'll yeah. be like, "Why aren't you doing things right?" And I'll throw my Cheetos at you from my yeah. from my lazy boy chair because I don't move. And Arr. then I will let you to have a bite <laughs> of your Cheetos. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's a good place to end off on the podcast. <laughs> um, Cheeto hey. War. Yeah, Cheeto War. Yes. Uh, thank you guys for coming in. Uh, they're all the way in from Washington, D.C. Yeah. Landed uh, an hour ago. Yep. Yeah, yeah. They literally flew to our office. Um, we were pilots. Yeah, yeah. Of course. In those little, you know, two seater. In Cessna, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> landed right right down the road from us. Yeah, we got yeah. we do have an airport right yeah. right across the street. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so I I for one am super excited to see how this. I mean, I'm I'm already watching where it's going. You guys listening to this podcast, depending, may not have seen this stuff already. Uh, for the for the record, it's the fifth of April. I I don't remember <laughs> what time of the year it is. Honestly, I, my my wife's birthday was two days ago, and I actually forgot about it. Oh, so, geez. oh my uh, god! I didn't forget about her though. I like I told That's her good morning good. and stuff. Do you like know that. her name? Wife. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and end off the podcast. Sounds um, good. We're we're running into an hour here. Is there any? Do either three of you have any little? pieces of advice for anyone that that's going to get into Amazon. I know I don't. So please. We will just guys. keep satisfying you to um, make sure you keep play, keep being lazy and we will work. Perfect. Mm -hmm. We'll do everything. Awesome. Yeah. So if you want to be lazy like me and make money, just come to us, just come to Mark, yeah. Lisa yeah. and me, and we'll take care of it. Yeah, and we'll also finance. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> no fun. I yeah. will do everything. Yeah. That Done was a for joke. you. Yeah. All I want is my name on the checks. That's it. All right, cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in. It's uh, so far, what we've done so far has been a lot of fun and a great pleasure. And, and we're going to be doing a lot more of this, especially once you move to Orlando, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm actually considering this place, but the schools are pretty bad. What do you mean? I learned good. I grew up in California. <laughs> what am I talking about? All right. Good night. <laughs> bye, bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning Thanks. in. See you later. <laughs>